Holy shit. It's not, it, the levels of fear are insane. Absolutely insane. Like, you're eating your food, so you're wearing your mask into the restaurant. You guys have looked up cognitive dissonance. Oh my god. So you're wearing your mask. It's protecting you from this deadly airborne virus. But obviously while you're eating and you take the mask off, viruses, they, they respect the rules like, like the rules of war. They won't get you when you're eating. Right? <laughs> I mean, come on! It's crazy. Yo! What's up, humans? Free range humans? How you doing out there? It's me, this guy, uh, the Love Meister. You might as well call me that. I got my new shirts. Might as well just call me the Love the Love Meister. I want to do a video. Something happened that was, uh, you know, like a minor miracle. Not a huge miracle. Small miracle. But still, there was a lesson in it, and it's a powerful lesson. And I thought I'd share it. So here we go. So I'm I'm at one of the freedom rallies here in vancouver i pretty much go every sunday to the uh vancouver art library it's usually between uh 12 and 3 and i'm doing stand-up comedy doing my thing afterwards we go and uh you know we want to get some food now we're walking around we can't even find somewhere to get food like we're, we're literally like nobody you know what i'm saying like everybody's being weird you gotta you know you gotta you, Everything, like all of it. Oh, you can only sit three people on the table. Well, there's there's a big group of us. Oh, no, you can't sit together because you know what? Uh, you know, they want you to wear masks as you go in and, and wait around. Like even if, like you got to walk in with one, but then when, you, when you're sitting down at the table and you're eating, then it's fine. But while you walk to, from where you walk in to the table, got to have one on, right? Because that totally, totally makes sense. I mean, it's, 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 it's so ridiculous that I, we couldn't eat. Like we just, we literally couldn't eat anywhere. None of us are going to wear uh, that stuff because you know, like once you know what's going on, it's like a bit, bit insane to do so. So, so we're like, nah. So we literally could not eat, and and we, we were standing at this one restaurant, literally waiting around for ages as they're like talking to the. Oh, the place is empty, by the way. There's like it's a fucking huge restaurant. They got about I don't know eight nine people. Their capacity would be I don't know hundred more. There's eight people in the restaurant. Eight, ten people. Not, not, I mean, it's empty. It's an empty restaurant. They're going, oh, no, no, we wouldn't be able to seat you guys uh, together because of the rule. We got to follow the rules. And it, it, it's insanity if you're, if you're paying attention, right? It's insanity beyond imagination. We're a business, a business. We are customers. We want to spend our money. And they're like, no, no, we don't, we don't want your money. We got to do it. We got to play it safe and do what the media says and do what the government says and just... You know, they didn't want they didn't want us to sit down. They're just like, no, no, you can't eat here. You can't eat here. It didn't, it didn't fucking matter what we said. And so rather than leave and file a, 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 a against them in the tribunal, I just was like, you know what? This is fucking bullshit. This is a restaurant. I'm here to eat. Let them fucking throw me out. Let them call the cops, and then we'll see what happens. Okay? But I'm just but I'm sitting down and I'm gonna fucking eat. And I just said to my friends, I'm sitting down. I'm gonna eat here. And let them, they can let them call the cops. I haven't done anything. We, what have we done? Nothing. We know the law. So we we all just sat down. And we waited like no shit. We waited a good 20, 25 minutes before anything happened. I'm coming up to the guy going, hey, man, like what's going on? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to find out if I could serve you guys because you're not wearing masks. I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Um, I give him the piece of paper with all the fucking rules on it from the government. I'm like, look, these are the exceptions, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is what it is. He doesn't he doesn't give a shit. So after all this uh, conversation and me trying to explain shit, he just leaves. And, 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 and we don't know what's going on. We don't know, are we being served? Are we not being served? So nothing's going on. I ask him what the fuck is going on. And he goes, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm trying to find out if I'm allowed to serve you guys. If you're not wearing masks, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm contacting the police. I just want to make sure. So this is, how, this is the level of, like, fear that this, this guy's in, that he's absolutely terrified that he could get in trouble by having a bunch of people in a restaurant eat that he let, that basically, like, without, ma like, how the fuck do you eat with a mask on anyway? It doesn't even make sense. That w what he's going to double check that it was okay that we walked from the outside part of the restaurant to the table without, and now that we're sitting there, he, it still might be a problem. Like, he, like it's, it's a level of insanity that had it been written into a science fiction movie, like a year ago, people would go, oh, it's a fucking wacky movie. Like, they, you wouldn't believe it. You'd just say, you'd just say that's not even realistic enough to put in a movie because nobody would ever believe that. That's the level of stupidity that we're at right now. It was wild. So basically all that was happening was I'm trying to have a conversation explaining the insanity of all this to just some, some kid who works at this restaurant. And uh, you can see the fear in his eyes, right? He has, he has no idea what's going on. He doesn't, not, he, obviously most people don't know that, you know, uh, about the pandemic and how the whole agenda, they don't know that. But even, even just the basic awareness of the laws that we have in Canada and how people have, you know, exception, uh, you know, exemptions. If you have an exemption, you don't have to prove it. 
you, you simply have to declare that you have an exemption. No one's a, a, allowed to ask you about your medical condition in this country. Um, and so you can simply just say, I'm legally exempt. Everyone in Canada happens to be legally exempt from wearing uh, a mask. That's just our, that's just our, that's just in our laws. That's just what's up. I got the fucking pieces of paper here. You can, I can read them to you if you want, but like, that's just what's up. You know, based on religion, creed, medical condition, you, you, you're exempt. Everyone's, everyone is legally exempt, right? All you gotta do is declare it. And so, so this guy was having none of it. We, we were like, bro, like, you know, talk to the boss. I don't want to have to go and file a human rights complaint for you guys uh, not letting me into your restaurant and discriminating against me because that that is happening a lot uh, with our human rights uh, tribunal here. They're getting a lot of cases. So you can't discriminate against somebody, whether they're black, white, Chinese, gay, or wearing stupid clothes or not wearing a mask. Sorry, that's just the law in, in our country, right? So the guy goes to the owner uh, comes back and down and says, yeah, owner says, says no. When, then I'm like, look, we're going to, you guys are going to be in shit. Like, you, you know, like you want to, you, you, we're going to take this to court. Do you understand? I think the owner wants to know that. Eventually, owner comes down, comes over with his wife. Wife's just crapping herself in fear. Like wearing a mask, comes over with a box of masks like and, and, and taking them out with tweezers. This is the best, guys. She doesn't even want to touch the mask to give to us. She's to, like... If you believe in this whole sure this whole thing, surely the one thing that's safe to touch is the mask. No, no, she's got tweezers out and she's tweezing, she's tweezing at the masks and giving them. To, it's so ridiculous. So I'm trying to explain. I'm just like, hey, listen, let me just explain to you what, what's going on. And I'm and I actually start explaining the things like like basic stuff. So I'm like, hey, you know, the hospitals are empty, right? You understand what that means? It means nobody's getting sick. Do you know that? That's like people are coming out. Do you know they're changing the numbers? Like the the people like like. Ten, like so many thousands of people died from flu last year. Like, like there's around a three percent, whatever. Thousands of people died. There's no influenza this year. Isn't that interesting? Just disappeared. And people are writing down, you know, you know what, wink, wink, as cause of death when it's clearly other things, and that's coming up. Like, don't you think that's weird? Um, and I'm I'm just starting to spit out like really basic, really basic uh, truths here, like like really simple, simple shit. And, uh, and and I don't know if it's it's getting through. I, I really I really don't. Owner comes over. I gave him some of that information. Then I just went into the, just the, just the legal stuff. Hey, we're in Canada. Here are the rules. You can't discriminate against customers. If you do, we can go to the Human Rights Trib- Tribunal and we can we can file against you. And it's up to a thirty five thousand dollar fine. You got to do reparations. It, like it's a pain in the ass for you. I don't want to have to file it. I like you. I don't want to do that. I just want to, you know what I'm saying? But I, but I told him that this is the, this is the real law. And this business owner was actually just simply terrified of. Um, you know, of getting shut down or messed with by the government. He was just complying with what he thought was the real law. But the real laws are Canadian Charter. The real law is not these mandates that are unlawful uh, because the state of emergency was declared when two people had died and that doesn't fulfill uh, the emergencies that are required, an emer- a genuine emergency. That doesn't that doesn't count. Anyway, so at some point, and here's where I want to get to like the, 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 the miracle part. So we're there for a while. We don't know what's going on. I come up to him. He explains to me. He's waiting to find out what's going on. I come back and I say to the people, okay, so I said, look, this is ridiculous. We've been here for a long time. I'm going to give it five minutes. If he doesn't, if he doesn't, if we don't get served in five minutes, we're going to leave here and there are six of us. We're going to file a human rights uh, complaint. If that's the way, if that's what needs to happen, if that's what the universe wants for this gentleman to be educated about uh, about the law and for him to get his shit together and start actually like serving customers without discrimination, if that's what the universe wants me, us to do, I'm going to do it. But I literally said, I'm going to wait five more minutes, then I'm out of here. And I, I declared it and I said it to the to the people, just like, uh, you know, just like I declared when we were going to sit down and made that decision. I just went, no, I'm sitting down and I'm going to be served food. And if they really want to not serve me food, then if they want to go there, we'll go there. But it was a, it was a, it was just a decision. It wasn't like I don't know what to do. It was like a, well, this is where I'm at. This is what I'm doing because I know it's the right thing to do. Same thing. I said, okay, I'm gonna wait five more minutes, then we're done. Okay. Here's what happened then. A little bit before then, the, we saw there was like a bird. There, were, there was like a, a bird that had randomly flown in the restaurant and was and it was like running around and people were trying to get it. So this bird was hanging out just around the corner from from where we are. Right, and right, pretty much when I said that, the we see that like a minute later, the owner walks up, and he like grabs the bird, and then he starts walking away, and, and and I'm like, holy fuck, he just grabbed that bird, that's awesome, he he he's a baller, and then he's like walking, and then he turns left and goes towards the kitchen, so I'm just like, yo, this is a Korean restaurant, that guy just caught a pigeon, and he's going to the kitchen, so that was kind of funny, um, so but I guess he just threw the bird out or whatever it was. 
And then very shortly after that, we're in it. It's just been like a couple of minutes since I said, okay, five minute thing, five minutes, and, or we're out of here. Then the woman comes up with the with, with cups and says, puts the cups down and says, there you go. Uh, this is for your tea, and I'll be back with menus in a sec. So we're being served. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. Okay. And we ate, and it was amazing food, and we had a great time. But here's the interesting thing. When we came in initially, the kid working there was like, there's absolutely no way you can come in without masks. There's not, it's not going to happen. The owner also was like, no, no, you can't do it. I'm too scared, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. But when what, what happened there was, it was a miracle, first of all. Like, like think about, this is what I think happened. When the owner, like that bird just happened to fly in, right? Like just a little bit before when we came in there, basically, the, 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 the bird came in around the same time. That's rare. That doesn't, that doesn't happen. And what I think happened is the owner, like spirit sent that bird in, right? Like bit of a coincidence, coincidence. And this dude, this owner, that moment that he had with that bird where he caught this pigeon and then he threw that pigeon out, I think he actually had a beautiful moment, like a heart opening experience. And then after that experience was like, okay, yeah, let these people eat. This is crazy. Because that happened to me once before in France, in a hostel when I was like in my early 20s. There was a, a a bird trying to like like whacking itself against this glass window, hurting itself, trying to go outside. And I'm like, fuck, this bird's never gonna get out of here. It's gonna hurt itself. And I was I was nervous because I was like, it was I was a little like freaked out to like grab this bird. But anyway, I went and did it. I grabbed this bird, and as soon as I grabbed it, the bird went totally still. I opened up the the window with my shoulder, and then I you know I threw it up, and it went. And it was such a an amazing feeling to free this bird because like I've had that experience. I'm telling you, it's fucking epic. You're like you're free, and the bird's like, Poof, and you're like fuck yeah. It's 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 a it's a thing. Like I like I would pay money if someone's like hey fifty bucks, we'll give you a bird. You get to throw it. I'd be like yeah, it feels great. I would I would give money for that. So I think he he had that experience with the bird and had that moment of like love for a moment, that moment of freedom and love and just like you know connection. And then he just went went to the the waitress and said, "Yeah, just serve these people." And that's it. He came to his senses. He had a moment of clarity, you know. And I really think Spirit sent that bird uh, for that for him to be able to have that experience. And so for me, it was just it was just an obvious thing of like when we set our intention, like the moment I went. If you guys want to call the cops, if you guys want to take this there, cool. I'm a human being. I know my rights. This is a restaurant. You're open to the public. And I, and so if you're serving, even if it's private property, this is the law. As soon as you start serving one customer, you're open to the public. You cannot discriminate against me based on anything. I'm a customer. I have the money to pay for the food. You have to serve me. Sorry. In Canada, these are the rules. Check the rules in your own countries. Anybody watching this right now? I don't know what it's like where you are. I happen to be Canadian. That's the law here. That's just how it is. Now, you'd think that would be obvious anywhere under just natural law, and it is. Uh, but as we're pretending that governments have authority and we're going along with those laws, it's useful to lose, use those laws sometimes, even though they're all made up and, for, and many of those are unlawful. That's for another video. So the point of this video is... Miracles happen when you set your intention and stick to it. When you follow your heart and you do what's right and you go, fuck it, I'm sticking to this and I'm doing this because it's the right thing to do and somebody's got to do it and, and I trust in the universe and I'm not worried about something bad happening because I know I'm not doing anything wrong. That's when shit starts to happen and that's why that experience happened. We had a great time and that restaurant, that, that owner has been educated. He's got, he, we gave him the pamphlets, we talked to him and we're hoping to follow up with him so he really understands to a deeper level what's going on here so that we... People in the freedom movement and other human beings that are not brainwashed can actually go and eat epic Korean food and not have to be hassled by this insanity, right? So it's really it's really a win-win-win. It's good for his restaurant. It's good for us. And it's good for all the other people out there who can now go eat and not be treated like they're fucking criminals because they haven't been brainwashed into having to wear uh, a mask for absolutely no reason other than to show that you comply with a psychological uh, terrorist operation against humanity. You see what I'm saying? I'm not complying with that. You shouldn't, no, n nobody who's rational and likes to think for themselves and understands what, what's actually going on would ever, ever, ever play along with this, with this plan. And this is what I'm, what's about to happen. The whole world is about to see uh, what's, been, what's been going on. It's going to be an interesting few weeks. So my point is this, even though it's a very simple story and not really that big a deal, I've seen this happen many, many times before, and I'm going to be going deeper into this topic in future videos. When you know what you're doing and you set your intention clearly from a place of love, from your heart, from being connected to source, being connected to the love that you have that is your essence, and from that place you go, this is what I'm going to do, whether it's a life purpose or a mission or, or breaking up with somebody or helping somebody or whatever it is, but it comes from this place and you know you're doing the right thing. The universal lines, synchronicities, miracles happen, and then shit gets done. And those, this is a very, very small example of that. But 
a good example of that. And uh, and in uh, part two, I'm going to go in deeper into uh, this concept that we can we basically can create timelines based on our intention. We can literally navigate timelines and create the reality that we want to based on what we have going on on the inside, our world, our belief system, and speaking our truth and and living that. So that's what's coming up. And uh, this has been really fun. This has been really fun. I'll put uh, anything else I want to add, I'll put in uh, the little description below. And uh, yeah, I hope that was useful. I, again, it was just me ranting about something. But let me know if you like me ranting about something videos because I like to do it. It's fun. Things are going on. I like to rant. P.S. I love you. Did I tell you that? I fucking love you. And I love Korean food. That's it for today. See you later. Spread the love. Woo.